Like this down to the headband, like. Mm -hmm. Pull it down. Pull it down. It's down. But I wanted to come show you guys my outfit because it's super cute. It's Saturday night. Benji. Hi, Benji. <laughs> the Amazon app is gonna see me once a week. <laughs> your teeth up and down all right well let's let her take a look and see what she thinks okay um we had a few spaces on the bottom that we um she went ahead and moved forward with the space uh, closer and we needed classrooms yeah, to pull back yep okay let's check it out weren't able to wear all the time <laughs> how's it feeling anything feels, to, it feels good feels good yeah so, and it might it's just to make sure that there's yeah. bite down all the way. And tap your teeth together. Yeah, we don't have primitives. So all I want to make sure is the bottoms aren't banging because when you get these replaced, I don't want the bottom teeth to bang on it and cause things. So. How are you able to tell? You said there's no what? Primitive. Primitive. Oh. Which is when I put my hand here, tap your teeth together. If it were hitting really heavily, I would feel your tooth flexing oh, okay, and okay. banging. Um, I don't feel that, which is what I'm looking for. Okay. Before we make the final retainer, go ahead and go see your dentist uh -huh. and make sure they're happy with the spaces we've prepared. Like, if, you know, they will tell me if they can work with what they got or if they want a little more, a little less, mm -hmm. and then if we have to fine tune. But I would like that they get the final say on that. And if they can, then you can go ahead and get that done. Mm -hmm. And then once it's done, you come see us the day it's done, and we scan for your final retainer. Okay. So that your final retainer matches the new teeth, not. So if I make it right now. You can use this until, and you can use that for a long time for the best final aesthetic result. Yeah. But that's where the dentist has a little bit more um, desires. They might say, "Yeah, you know, this one is a little too big, or this one isn't big enough, or hey, I got it. I can work with this." Yep. Yeah, okay. Yay, so this is where the good stuff starts to happen. Thank goodness. Yes, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> yeah, well, you've done a great job. And it cannot hurt to keep wearing those rubber bands. Okay, okay. So wear those with the trays. Um, really can do nighttime only on both the trays and rubber bands. Okay. Like. Um, Hi guys, it's Angui. Welcome back to my channel. Um, welcome back to another vlog. It's a really odd time of day. It's 11.15 a.m. So the sun is right on top of me. So I'm sorry for the lighting in my car right now if you can't really see me. I just left my ortho appointment. I'm completely done with my Invisalign. You've seen me talk about Invisalign for the past like almost four or five years because like I kept stopping, not wearing my trays, pandemic, had to get new trays, and it's just been such a long journey. So I finally finished up. That's what that appointment was about. This was my last one. But now I need to go get bonding done because as you can see, well, when I was in the chair, there are spaces in between my two teeth. When I wear my Invisalign, you can't really tell that I have like any spaces at all. They just look so good, so straight. Um, yeah, so I have to get bonding done because I have like two smaller teeth right here. So they're just gonna like build them up and give me that perfect smile. So I had them um, refer me to a dentist because again, I'm like technically new here in Atlanta. So and I don't have a dentist here. And like, I really do feel the difference. And first of all, I see the difference um, between the before and after. I'll include those pics in my final like appointment. But actually, let's just them up right now because now like when i go to get the bonding i'll just do the bonding before and after so this is what my teeth looked like before i started in atlanta and this is what they look like now and then this is what my teeth used to look like before i even started invisalign like way back in ohio and this is what they look like now so when i restarted again in atlanta it wasn't that bad i just know like my bottom teeth were a little bit crooked so that's that um and i wasn't gonna vlog today but i'm glad i got my camera because um i mentioned this last vlog but like weekly vlogging is just about picking up like the camera when you can i think like my thing is like usually like if my hair is not done i'm not coming on camera because what 
no yeah so now we just finished that i'm about to go to smoothie king get my breakfast smoothie and then i have to go to the nail salon i brought my laptop and my planner because i have a new video that i'm supposed to be putting out today which is last week's weekly vlog and i actually did really good um with the turnaround time for editing that i just finished vlogging sunday and i edited monday last night and the vlog is coming out today i literally am running on what like three hours of sleep because i stayed up till 6 30 a.m finishing that vlog because i'm like let me just not come back to this tomorrow let me just finish it out upload it and like i'd rather be tired knowing i got my work done so i could sleep my day away than trying to like work on that vlog again and yeah so my nail appointment is at 12 it's 11 18 but um like i said i want to go to smoothie king get a breakfast smoothie because i haven't eaten anything this morning guys i want you guys to do me a huge favor whenever you guys like just watch any video of me what why can i not structure the sentence please 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 just like first thing <laughs> when you guys watch a video of mine just give the video a thumbs up and like the video well if you like my content and you like this channel just because it just will like show youtube that you're actually like engaging because like sometimes like you know people don't comment especially like if i'm watching a vlog on my tv i'm not going to be able to comment so just like at least like the video i'm trying to get every video i push out to get to like 3k likes so i can like drop another one is going to just keep me more motivated knowing that you guys are still like liking my stuff and i want to start doing um actually like themed content videos because i am not like like i'm a vlogger but i love travel vlogs more than weekly vlogs so i want to like when i'm not feeling like doing a weekly vlog or to at least give you guys another video so you're not always waiting on my slow weekly vlogs i might do like content videos like tipsy talks more videos with my friends and other creator friends that i have here i'm gonna start doing like challenges again just to make my channel like more fun and not just like a completely like a vlogged out channel if that makes sense Thank you. Hey, what's your name? Nice to you. One thing about Atlanta, they're going to squeeze an establishment into an area. I got my smoothie. I always get the Daily Warrior. Um, I never really get anything else. Maybe I should start trying more stuff. But I just like this one for like the amount of calories it has and the stuff that's in it. Um, this is the nail set that I'm going to go with. I already screenshotted it while I was waiting in line. Because more often than not, I never know what I want before I get my nails done. But I'm thinking of just doing... A pink French tip because like my base is nude right now and I usually like a pink base and white the air is on I don't feel like getting a full set right now at all um, I was gonna do like the whole like ombre pink thing where it goes from like a darker pink to a light but I don't want to be disappointed so I'm just gonna keep it simple <laughs> let's head to the nail salon See the thing about you that caught my eye is the same thing that makes me change my mind. Kinda hard to explain, but girl, I try. You need to sit down, this may take a while. See this girl, she sort of looks just like you. You see that smile just the way you do. So innocent, she seemed, but I was fooled. I'm reminded when I hot in here so take off all your clothes i am burning up in my car i need to let the ac on whoa this is why they say never leave a baby in the car this is why they say never put never leave anybody in the car i'm hot and i just got in here i'm literally burning up and i just got in here let me i gotta turn on the ac but i just wanted to tell you guys i just got done doing my nails ah i forgot to film the after 
that's so bad vlogger of me um i love going to see dawn i just got, went for like a lighter pink <laughs> i love coming here because well i love seeing them because first of all they usually don't hurt me like dawn has never cut me but like yen yeah, she pays attention so much to the cuticles and like sometimes she'll just like snip a bit of my skin so that happened today but it'll be fine by tomorrow but i just love the way she does my toes the way um she pays attention to the cut and i also like how they all like they listen to me like i don't feel like i'm asking for too much asking them to change something and like i'm a regular to them now so they kind of like know what i like already like i never like my big toes to be super big even though i get acrylic on them and i do find that like getting acrylic is that a hot guy anyways i do find that getting acrylic on my big toes does help them last longer and they chip less and i find that on vacation my toes um what's it called never really chip anymore but i'm burning up i need to turn on this ac i was gonna go i literally just got an email oh my gosh let me reply back before I tell you guys the news, before I miss this spot. You see? Ah, no, I can't do this, y'all. I need to turn on the AC. I'm about to melt. Ah. Heat kills. Okay, so I'm sorry if you guys can hear the AC in the car running, but I have to tell you guys this freaking news. I just got invited to go um, to the Renaissance concert to see Beyonce. <clears throat> with a brand so i don't know excuse you kirko banks okay so i just got invited like i was saying i just got invited to go to the beyonce concert on saturday i don't let me check the date so i don't know if i was telling you guys already in this vlog but i got invited or it was last vlog Yes, I think last vlog I told you guys that Revolve is coming to ATL and they're doing like a brand ambassador meetup and they invited me to dinner. And I had asked them, is Revolve hosting anything else that weekend? Because they invited me to dinner on a Friday and I'm thinking like usually when brands come, why is this all this noise? So when brands come, I feel like they usually don't stay in a place for one day and there's multiple things happening. And I've just learned that over experience, especially because like, um, like when I went like, on a brand trip like even my white fox one taught me just to like ask um more questions and i'm like always asking brands like oh yeah so let me know if you're ever doing anything and i asked in this email after they invited me to dinner i was like thank you for the invite i'd love to attend the brand dinner is revolve hosting anything else that weekend i sent that on july 27th um, she got back to me today and I was actually have it in my notes. Um, I was gonna follow send a follow-up email because they're gonna dress us for dinner so we get to like pick out an outfit. So I was gonna follow up because I thought the like um the dinner was this Friday, but it's actually next Friday. So August 11th. So like I was gonna follow up today. I was in the nail salon and I got the email. She said they're also gonna be doing a whiskey tasting and there's one spot left. Let me know if you can join. I have my email notifications on. So like I usually rep reply to like brand emails fast if it's something like super important and I know I wanna do it because if I don't reply in the moment, I'll most likely forget for a few days. So I replied literally in like 10 seconds. I was like, yes, I'll be available. Should I select outfits for these through a certain link? Cause again, I'm thinking it's like this Friday and she emails me back five minutes later and she's like wait just got even better news there's a spot available for our beyonce concert saturday instead and so like i'll get to do dinner friday and then the concert saturday that's gonna be in freaking insane two vlogs ago but ah that's so exciting news that's so cool to kind of like capture on camera but i'm sweating bullets well not yet in 10 seconds i will yeah i was gonna go to trader joe's today but no sir no ma'am i just realized while I was getting my nails done and people um drive and vlog but I don't have um what's it called I don't have a like a tripod thing it's like literally resting on my dashboard and I don't need this camera to fall anymore like it's already hanging on its last legs and I don't even know if I have a good enough attention scan for that but um yeah I was saying like look at how I tell stories and explain things I'm not going to Trader Joe's today because I realize I have a lot of um leftover food in my fridge like i ordered wing stop last night i need to finish the rest of that so after this smoothie i'm gonna like just go and um upload my new pictures let me post them right here it's super cute 
um, my new pictures um, I'm gonna up upload my new weekly vlog and I'm gonna upload a TikTok so I already finished editing the pictures the TikTok and the YouTube vlog is uploaded just got to go do the thumbnail and the title and description and I should be done with all of that stuff in like 30 minutes and post everything at 2 30 because it's 1 43 now and I don't live too far from here. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'll catch you guys probably. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say tomorrow, but tonight we're doing something fun too. So I'll just see you guys a little bit later tonight. I'm tired, tired of the way he treats me. Tired, tired of the way he feels. I'm in a fit. I'm in a frenzy, but like I shouldn't be. It I told you guys we were going somewhere today. My friend Tommy invited me to go bowling with him. Um, you guys know Tommy actually, he's my friend, but he's also a photographer and videographer. So whenever I know I need something like a high quality video done. But he invited me bowling yesterday and I said I would go, but then yesterday I put an all nighter and today after I post my video and pictures, it was already like 4 p.m. So I took a nap from five to seven. I woke up at seven and I said, girl, I have a pain at the top of my skull. So I texted him like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to go. And I like told Najee about it too. Um, but she was cleaning and said she'd let me know. So I texted Tommy. But then after like 10, 15 minutes of like just like scrolling on my phone being awake, I'm like, let me just pull myself out of bed and go. I was going to get like cute and wear this like casual um, cute fit from PLT that I knew I needed to take pictures in. So it would double as like me having fun and getting content. But I just was like, let me just take a shower and just do um, something with like a hat so I don't have to wear makeup. And I look like a soccer mom. <laughs> I have on these jeans and I have on my New Balances and my shirt. And to be honest, everything is from White Fox actually. And then my bag is from Princess Polly. I haven't worn this bag in a while, but I have on gray and white so it works perfectly. And then my hat, I'm pretty sure it's from Lids. Um, I got this like in New York. My JBW watch, some silver rings, and some silver studs. It is 8.06 and I'm actually still on time today. <laughs> Tommy actually offered to pick me up. So that was another reason I'm like, girl, just go. You're going to be being driven in the car. You're going to rest on the way in the car. And I'm like, I need to eat anyways. And there's nothing here. And I'm not going to cook. So a win is a win. I'm just waiting for him now. And I'm talking to you guys. So I'm going to see you guys there. But I wanted to do... A little um <laughs> what's in my bag because i used to love those videos when i was younger so first off we have my prada wallet it's cute she's giving cute place for the eyes the place for the cars my dior lip glow oil and this is in the shade rosewood 012 my cousin actually got that for me for my birthday my valentino travel size perfume my airpods the top of the case is missing and then a mint and yeah, that's it. That's everything. Really light today because again, we're not making wearing makeup, so I don't need like lip glosses and like powder touch up. Nothing crazy. Oh, I think I also want to change my case. It's just clear, but I found my white box case from the LA trip, and I was like, oh, she's cutesy, and it'll bring like a pop of color to my outfit. I also have pink in the hat. You know, whenever you change the case, it always makes you feel like you have a new phone. Okay, I'm talking too much. All right, bye guys. See you guys when we get to Andretti's. Still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Cherie, who am on back? They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. Met, 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 Met. Hey, you know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the Alright guys, 
we're heading towards the go-karts right now. This is gonna be out to be, this is, oh, okay, I can't even speak. That's how I got you fucked up. This got to be an adventure. Pray for me. And they said I have to take off my hat to put on the helmets. How are you feeling before this race? I'm feeling confident. I'm about to win. It's just an easy thing. I was practicing on the way here, so I'm pretty much ready for you know whatever happens. Ready to lose. Okay. okay I'm gonna play a quick safety video. When the video's over, I'm gonna beat you out that door over there. You don't have to open it. Like this. Mm -hmm. Pull it down. Pull it down. It's down. <laughs> Focus on getting the fastest single lap. Drivers, race control has given us the go-ahead to race. Good luck and drive smart. Like, I feel suffocated. How you feel? Like I'm ready to kick some ass. Oh, these lockers. They ready, set. How do I take <laughs> Wait. You want to put something up? All right, yeah. I'll see you guys after the race because I feel like I can't set the camera anywhere, right? Behave. All that pumping up your chest. All that talk about the best. You know how sticky it gets. After that, that was fun. I was scared when we first started because I knew people were gonna pass me. I wonder if I'm last. Are you looking for the score? Three people bumped me. This one did, and then two strangers. Use it so my I way. Started, <laughs> I started getting the hang of it after, but that was fun. But it just like it just hurts. It's like shaking, but I definitely do it again. What are your thoughts after the race? Um. You didn't do your best. There were too many people in my way for me to do my best. <laughs> <laughs> so in a real race, you wanted to just be you? In a real race, yeah. You wanted to just be you? How was that gonna work? Yeah. I really just wanted to be free and you know do what I needed to do, but I was able to get the people you know out of my way. You know what I'm saying? Because you bumped me. You give them a little love tap and move to the side. <laughs> I don't even have a time. That's how bad. <laughs> Yeah. And this one, we're all in the same Hi guys, good afternoon. It is the next day. Bowling was fun yesterday and surprisingly enough, I ended up at Bomba Tuesday even though I was supposed to just come home, go to sleep because my friend Zara had texted me that um, her DJ friend told her there's a special guest coming and it was Davey Doe. We sometimes have artists at Bomba Tuesdays but not all the time so I was like, let me just hurry up back home. I told Tommy like, come on, let's go to Bomba. Bowling closed at 11 so we just like came back to my house so I could just put on heels, switch my top because what 
I had on yesterday, I could not wear that to Bamba. Um, and we were just there till two and then like came home. But like I really had like a little bit of a headache when I woke up today because I drank one too many shots and I did not want to do that because I was supposed to go to training today and I didn't go because I slept past my alarm. No, it's three o'clock right now and I just like cleaned up the kitchen a bit and um swept because there was so much styrofoam in my living room from unboxing like this coffee table right here is this is like linked in my last vlog and if you were watching my last vlog homery um is gonna send me like the screws to fix this but i don't know if that's gonna happen in this vlog and they did say they will be sending me another chair which is great because um i think in the truck something heavy got on it or whatever and it like dented one of the arms yeah and they're super polite so i'm glad that they're like gonna be sending me um a new piece and now i'll have two chairs for my balcony because i'll definitely still keep the other one because like it's still a perfectly good chair it just like has that one right now i did tell you guys yesterday that i wanted to go to trader joe's and i still do but not right now i need to like um what's it called like respond back to a lot of emails um and i wish i could just stay at home but i want to go to the gym oh my gosh i see a spider web in the corner i want to go to the gym it's called i don't have any food for after and i can't keep eating out because I told you guys we're going to turks and caicos um my friends and i at the end of august in like 20 days now and i need to bulk up i need to bulk up so i'm i want to go buy some like salmon and rice um, so I definitely will go to Trader Joe's later but right now I have a lot of Amazon packages right here and I was like why not just do like a quick Amazon unboxing because I need to like see what's in here and use these products anyways um one thing about me the Amazon app is gonna see me once a week and it's honestly so bad like they make it so easy to buy stuff on Amazon now like you can literally swipe with one finger and like um buy it without even going to like your full cart and like it's just crazy and my stuff does come fast it's not as fast as like amazon used to be but it's still really fast i think i saw somewhere that like i don't know if amazon is being sued or like they're just getting in trouble for like not things not actually being prime and like their prices i don't know but for me i haven't experienced any difficulties actually that's a lie oh my gosh i forgot i got this See, that's the thing like it's so easy to buy stuff that like i'll buy stuff and forget i bought it because i just did it so quickly because i knew i needed it i got a new knife set oh my gosh it feels like christmas um new because i don't know if you guys can tell but like i've just been switching out a bunch of stuff and getting new things for my apartment and i just want everything to be more cohesive i have a black knife set that i'm sure you've seen like thousands of people have by now but i wanted something like just like cuter and more nude because like that knife set for some reason it's just been getting on my nerves so i bought this one and it kind of looks grayish i don't know the color looks off in person but that's just like the box should i open it let me just open it oh this is so cool it's like little groves so that's where you like slide the knives through and i'm pretty sure this is where like the scissors will go i really like this color this is gonna be so cute um and yeah if you guys always ask for where my headbands are from i'll link this one down below the i get my thick headbands usually like whenever i do a collab with princess folly um i think white fox has some plt has some but they're not as thick um i got some oh oxyclean look at me looking at this stuff like i didn't purchase it oxyclean it's gonna be for like my white clothes because i'm realizing like my washer and i don't know if it's human error or is it the washer but it just doesn't clean my white clothes enough like it's like i'll steal like this headband that i'm wearing like the back of it still has like makeup on it and i'm like no get it together and this one says it's safe on colors so someone told me right now comment right now if that means that i can put colors in with this and it won't bleach it because i have this dress from mesh cube right here and i'm so sick because it's like i knew i should just like wash it on its own but like that just seems like such a waste of water but i washed it like other blacks i should not have done that so the white part is now like gray and that's not what i want it's making me want to ask them to send me a new dress because that's not what my dress looks like 
the washer that I have is has like a load and go dispenser. So like when I turn that off, like sometimes I don't know whether or not to put the clothes in first and then put the detergent or do I put the detergent in the base of the washer and then put the clothes. Like I need to look up like a TikTok how to wash your clothes video to get like the best results. And then I bought some Cascade Platinum dishwasher pods um, because I'm running out and I think I got the new one. This is the Platinum Plus. And I'm actually gonna go to Home Goods and find like a glass jar to put these in. Maybe I should record that for TikTok, like updating my under the cabinet space. What's this? Oh, this is a a peeler, a vegetable peeler. Um, yeah, but I got this because this is gonna go in the drawer because my knife set doesn't have a peeler, but my old knife set did. And I'm low-key getting used to seeing this coffee table. I felt like it might be like a little bit too abstract for my home because a lot of the pieces are have are like shapely and like proper dimensions and this is like the only abstract thing except for like my wall art but i feel like the fact that it's just like pure white it goes well and i feel like it just brightens up my living room space oh i just realized that i oh sometimes i wonder do i have like i i don't know because i don't like people always say like adhd when they have like something but it's like i can be saying something and then just jump to the next thing so fast because i forgot what i was going to say I was gonna say, oh, that I bought it. Ow. I was gonna say that I bought a new book and then I opened this and this caught my eye and I forgot that I bought this, like, I forgot. So I bought a new book, so I'm waiting on that. Um, I'll show you guys that when that gets here. But this is a perfume, it's an oud. And these are apparently from, is it the Middle East? Um, like their oils like really last a long time. So like, I'm gonna look up right now like what, and it is i just know that it's very strong the box itself it comes in is really freaking stunning i can't remember if i saw this on tiktok or if tati posted it because tati does a lot of perfume reviews and she said she really liked the smell so what exactly is oud known as wood of the gods oud significance is spiritual its aroma is part of muslim culture and it's a deeply rich and complex fragrance and it lasts long oh this is a pretty bottle why does it have oh the box i said what guy got a haircut and was standing over this you know when men get cut their hair in the sink and the hair is everywhere that's what it looks like on this i can't open oh jeez oh it smells rich this was not that cheap i feel like it was around like 88 dollars but this Whoa, yeah, this smells like it's gonna last a long time. And um, when Moses came, my friend from the UK, he was wearing this cologne and it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Like when they came for the pregame, um, they had came to like change clothes here and everything. And I had looked at the bottle because like, I'm like this, this guy, whatever he's wearing, it smells so good. Like it smells so good. And like this has like one, a similar note that I like a lot. I need to look up the notes of this. Yeah, I have the two ounce. This is actually $41. This is, no, you guys need this. This is really nice. Like, um, and I will say it's a really sexy scent. Nothing floral, cutesy about it. This is like grown woman. Top notes are bergamo and green notes. Middle notes are melon, sweet notes, pineapple and amber. Base notes are musk, vanilla, and woody notes. So again, this is a very, very, okay, I feel like a guy could low key get away with wearing this but their version is probably a little bit more musky like even like sweet notes in it but the one that moses had definitely had like sweet too like and i don't know if i <laughs> i don't want to post it because i don't know if he like got it somewhere special and doesn't share it because that's the first time i have ever seen that bottle and it definitely was an oud and looked like it was like from the middle east as well so I'm gonna link all this stuff right now. I'm gonna put it in my Amazon storefront, but I, I definitely recommend this. I haven't worn this out at night yet, but for $41, I still think that this would be a great perfume to get in your collection. Two more boxes to go. I know what this is. This is a clutch. I bought this um, back in May um, when I was going to the Little Mermaid movie premiere. I needed a gold clutch, so I got that, but I'm like, I need another black clutch as well, so I might as well 
just buy it now and have it this is gonna definitely be from when i attend more upscale events and then the black is just like so what do we think i wish it was a bit smaller because this is kind of like big for my hand but we'll see what i'll wear this with some something is gonna arise oh i know what this one is because by process of elimination this has to be my water flasher the brand is Tovendor. Like I said again, all this stuff is going to be linked in my Amazon storefront. And I have more like home decor and goodies. So you guys should definitely check that out. Like I love the stuff that I get from Amazon. And I got a pink one. It took me to forever to decide on the color. They, they have so many different colors. This thing is huge. I've never used a water flosser before at all, but I've heard that they're great. And I've been having a problem with like my gums bleeding because of like the Invisalign. And like, if I don't like brush my teeth after the dentist said like food can get stuck. Like, cause when you wear Invisalign, you're supposed to technically brush your teeth after every meal. But sometimes that can just get a little bit tiring, especially if you're not at home. But I got this to implement into my, I was gonna say only my night routine, but I'll probably use this in the morning as well. And then I'll just use my floss picks like when i travel and i really don't know how this works either like i yeah it comes with the usb charging cable so i'm gonna set this up later i will probably like use this with you guys for the first time maybe like tonight or tomorrow so i actually forgot one package it was a tissue box holder because i do like having tissues in my house sometimes because i feel like you might need to blow your nose but for my bathroom, the ones that I buy always look like out of place and stuff. So I just got this like nude leather tissue box holder. Why did this remind me of like something that could be like in a car? They had a lot of colors. Cute. Low key like it even like fits right here. That's so cute. And this is not from Amazon, but I got this pretty sure this is a kojic acid kojic acid bar to wash my face with because if you guys remember my la vlog um it was after the brand trip i was telling you guys that my skin has just been getting so bad but i don't know what i was doing but it's gotten so much better i think i've been like definitely simplified my skincare routine more and i think like drinking soda might have affected it but like I really wonder what I was doing because even a lot of my dark marks are going away. Um, I was using my Good Molecules thing a lot more as well, the discoloration serum. Turmeric and Kojic Acid Brightening Soap by Amoya Naturals. I found the brand on TikTok. It has goat milk soap, lemon oil, turmeric oil, Kojic Acid, frankincense, lang lang oil carrot seed oil lavender oil and turmeric powder maybe i should just like try using only this in moisturizer and sunscreen on my face and see what happens today's wednesday we can start this tonight and i will report back so this is what my skin looks like now and so i don't forget let me take a picture on my phone of what it looks like now yeah my skin is doing so much better and yeah, so that's everything that I got from Amazon. Um, I think I'm just gonna like go ahead and like respond to some emails and like reply to some invites. And I think I have some like gifting stuff to pick out. So I'll see you guys when we go to Trader Joe's later. And I hope we make it there. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. Today we have training. I did not go to Trader Joe's last night. Whoa. <laughs> It's literally 7.30 a.m. right now. Um, I got up at 7.20 because last time me getting up at 7.30, I was like six, seven minutes late. And I I don't know if I told you guys already, but I feel like I have like some part of me, like I just move slow unless I'm constantly telling myself every few minutes, you're supposed to be rushing, you're supposed to be rushing, you're supposed to be rushing. So I need to start doing stuff earlier because I move like a turtle. Um, And also today, I wanted to try and eat a pre-workout meal. I have rice cakes and i want to do like peanut butter and maybe like half a banana like i don't usually like to eat just plain banana i do it sometimes but it just used to make me gag when i was um what's it called in school but how do i tell if this is expired shelf life of a rice cake yeah 
Ew! I just put my phone. Oh, it says rice cakes can last for like up to eight months or like up to a year. Okay, I think these should be good. No, I don't think these have been in there for a year. Okay, so I'm thinking a scoop of peanut butter. Ah. See, this is why I need to work out. I can't even open a jar of peanut butter. This is insane. Ugh. The strength of the Black Panther. Okay, two tablespoons is 190. So this is half a tablespoon. Ugh, and I doubt I'll finish this. Maybe even more than a little half. Doesn't that seem insane to you that I don't know if I'll be able to finish this? I'm going to have to drink a lot of water. Because this peanut butter can choke me. You my banana is mushy. See the rest. Maybe I'll just put the rest in the fridge for like my protein shake after the gym. Okay. <sighs> I just spilled trash on the floor, and I can't find the way to this anyway. I'll be back soon, banana. You'll be fine for about two hours. It's gonna be our pre-workout meal. All right, let's give it a taste. See if I'm Gordon Ramsay or not. Not bad. I feel like my rice cake is stale, so I need to add that to the list of grocery shopping today. I finally um, linked my shoes down below. I get questions on these shoes all the time. These are the New Balance 530s, and I have the white and gray version. I think the code is mr 530 cb and then gym scent of the day is victoria's secret bombshell and i don't wear like perfume to the gym i choose to wear body spray and that's just because like why waste perfume but, but yeah i really like victoria's secret my favorite one by them is noir and then i picked that one up last time to try and like i barely used it so this is the fit the gym fit today we're doing arms today so i was like let me look sexy up top huh ecos and drive I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take this with me. See you guys at the gym. <laughs> this is so funny to me because you guys are on my regular tripod in the car right now. And I'm looking at the time, it's 7.52. I've never left my house like this early to go to the gym. These past few, past few five, six times I've had to leave my house, I've been earlier on time. This is insane. I don't know what's happening to me, but I was just picked up to my camera to say, I think I like working out earlier because it sets me up for my day, but I don't think I could ever be a 5 a.m. gym babe. I, I'm definitely not going to finish this, y'all. Like every time I want to take a bite, I'm like gagging, but I feel like because I'm not hungry, but I'm forcing it, but at least I ate like half. Okay, but the light is green. Bye guys. Yeah, ain't shit sweet, ain't shit funny. Look, it's blue tints on my hundreds. Life been going how I want it. Yeah. Guys, look at Dodger Pete. Yo, <laughs> what is tea? This God. is so funny. Hey, it's giving like okay, sister. down to the headband. Like that's insane. <laughs> now the headband had to come regardless. Okay. <laughs> if the headband come off, not even off. <laughs> it's a combo. Yeah. Now she talking like she want me, yeah. Hey, wave. Don't low in my section, built like a blessing. Fuck, I look like stressing. I be finessing, got my muscle flexing, my money stretching. Yeah, ain't shit sweet, ain't shit funny. Earth, wind, fire, and brimstone. We just finished. 
today was freaking arm day and it wasn't actually that bad i'll definitely come for arm day again but then again i only did half an arm day and then half legs um so a full arm day will probably be more brutal but these two past two workouts with gian have got me more made it motivated to come back in the gym and it's like when you have a trainer it's just so much better because usually in the gym i am pretty good at like figuring out what i want to do but i just feel like i put in so much more work when i come to training you're with other girls they motivate you as well i was hearing taja cheering me on and um i was supposed to go to trader joe's after this and go back home shower before my wax but it turns out my wax is at 10 a.m and it's 9 47 right now so i'm just gonna have to go and get my wax now but like when i go get my wax i'm not wearing leggings because who wants to put on tight clothing on after getting a wax and not shower but I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to suck it up and I'm only getting like a few things from Trader Joe's. I can just make it quick. It's 11.42 and we are back home now. I feel like I've gotten so much done and it's not even 12 yet. I might have to start getting up early, earlier a few days out of the week and then on the other days I can sleep till like 9 or 10. It was so like overcast today. I pretty, I thought it was gonna be like raining all day. I was like, perfect, gonna have all my stuff done and I'll just like lay inside and I'm still gonna do that anyways, but like it's nice to like just like lay inside when it's like it's about to rain. So I pretty much basically did a Trader Joe's haul while I was shopping because I showed you guys every single thing I picked up. But I'm just gonna like explain a few of the items. So I ended up getting some more rice cakes, but these are like a thin rice cake and I got these over the other like thicker ones because these actually oh I saw on the calorie thing 110 calories, but that's for six servings. I should have got the other ones. Um, the pasta that I get is the cacio, cacio e pepe ravioli. You guys probably have seen this before if you follow me on TikTok. I post about it. And I like to eat this with my salmon. So I think I might do this instead of rice because whenever I eat this, I can like finish the whole meal. And that's what I'll be making for like my three-day meal prep. How much will this salmon make? One, two... I think probably four pieces of salmon actually. Air fryer salmon, cacio e pepe pasta, sweet potato, and asparagus. And I'm not gonna cook that for you guys. Like I, I feel like I've been vlogging a lot. So um, maybe I'll do like another like cooking thing down the line. And then I also got um, some like mini tomatoes cause I'm gonna like cut these in halves and like mix it with garlic and oil. And then I'll put that on top of the pasta. And then I like to drizzle hot honey on my salmon and it just tastes so good i really am like a sweet and savory eater so that's why i like it this is the red hot honey by i don't remember if this is the same brand as my last one but the salad that i bought and i normally don't like pre-boxed up salad because i think i saw something where like people were getting sick from these but that was a while ago like there was like something going around and they were pulling them off the shelves so i usually like make my salad if i ever have one or like it's at like a restaurant or something but i got this one because one of these is 540 calories the greek yogurt i got is not to like consume it ever since lori harvey made that viral tiktok i found out that like 
Greek yogurt can help lighten dark spots and people say it happens like fairly quickly like she said she'll like put this on if she has like a shoot day like the next day or something and like she'll see and it'll already work by the next day and then these are buffalo chicken style poppers I usually get chicken dumplings but I haven't really been liking those lately so I thought for like my snack that I feel like warming up and not like cooking this says put in the oven baby not okay air fryer good I'm gonna give these a try. I was hoping there wasn't cheese in it, but it is cheese. I'm trying to stay away from a lot of dairy. Meanwhile, this is cheddar bread. But I'm just gonna make sure I drink a lot of water. And I first had this at Najee's house when we had like a game night like a few months ago, and this was so good. I think we had this like with pasta. I don't know where it is, but the salami that I showed you guys. I really like salami. And ever since Italy, I was like, yeah, this would be a good snack. So I think like one of my days, Maybe tomorrow I'll stay in, who knows? Cause I needed to put on makeup tomorrow to film a TikTok, who knows? But on a night I stay in, I wanna have like salami and bread and wine and just like watch game dramas. That'd be a good night. And then I also got this matcha green tea powder to try out for the first time. I've never had matcha, but I, I feel like because it was just like such a trend and I'm not really one to like be obsessed with things because other people are like if i don't like something i don't like something like one thing i hate is coffee and i can never be a coffee girl because i don't like that at all like it's just so bitter and then one thing i found out i tried coffee um for the first time in like do i want to say almost a year just because i was at like a coffee shop doing work my pee smelled so bad later. I'm like, so coffee drinkers, this is what y'all going through when you use the bathroom? Your pee smelling like this? Oh no, that's one of the reasons why I like, kind of stopped eating asparagus. Even though I got it today because I love asparagus, like your pee will smell so bad. To try out, and I heard that matcha, um, I feel like it's good for like your energy and stuff. Like it's not just like, um, people are drinking it just because but i'm sure the ones at starbucks there's like a lot more sugar and stuff in it um oh okay so that's what the trader joe's stuff that i got and then i went to publix and i normally instacart my groceries but um for some reason like after i work out and stuff i have more energy but you can't even instacart for trader joe's because like everything in the store like changes so much so i went to publix because i needed protein yogurt trader joe's has plenty of yogurt but i like protein yogurt because it just makes sense for me because i'm a fitness babe and i normally get this brand i think it's like o oikos greek yogurt and it has like 20 grams of protein and it's like the single serving cups and then i saw this 28 grams i'm like i need that so i got the big jar because like i kind of like scooping it into like a little bowl anyway so i can like dump granola in it um i just wish it was dairy free but what am i going to have to do i'm trying to stay away from dairy but it's so hard so that's what i went there for but then i picked up some vitamin water zero sugar i like the acai i, I got acai i don't know acai um blueberry pomegranate and then liquid iv i swear by this stuff and i need to email them back because they've tried to work with me so i can like get these for free because getting stuff for free that you literally always use insane yeah and i love these i like to drink these um after a night out like this is why you don't go to the grocery store when you're hungry i bought an entire bag of beef jerky so yeah that's what i got for my groceries for the rest of the week if i can eat all this food by sunday that's impossible and make sure if you're watching this part right now thumbs up the video give it a like make sure we're always liking and commenting yeah y'all i lost my train of thought yeah i've been getting back to work re recently and i think i'm gonna get a management um, I think I might do a trial run with this management team. They took all my info. They have to see if they like me enough. If I uh, had someone else contact me about management. To be honest, I get contacted about management a lot, like via email. But um, I want someone who's like a great fit and like working with creators my size or greater, um, if that makes sense, so that they can like elevate me in a way and like do more for me than I'm already doing for myself. And I feel like them taking over my email is gonna like relieve a lot more stress oh i have to clear this fridge out to be able to put stuff in i'll show you guys my salmon tomorrow when i make it but like yeah i'm basically in for the day because i got all my errands done which was crazy like my wax grocery shopping and the gym 
all before the afternoon which is insane wake up early y'all wake up early that might be the cheat code waking up early and getting everything done before you get way too tired throughout the day and like there was less traffic and i'm rambling so i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> bye <laughs> hi guys welcome back welcome back to my video this light is so bright today is no you can walk by Today is um oh, I'm sorry. birthday. <laughs> Today is um Saturday. <laughs> this light is so bright. I cannot even see. Hold on. Um, yeah, so I'm not technically vlogging today, but I wanted to come show you guys my outfit because it's super cute. It's Saturday night and me and the guys about to get out. Um yeah, that's cool. Which one? Anyone is fine, but the one that I'm wearing tonight. What is that? I have the pink um Delina one. Yeah. Called. Yeah, so me and the girls are going out. We're about to go to the pregame real quick And I don't even know what club we're going to but I'm dressed super super nice today because because I had to take pictures for POT Anyways, and I'm like this fit is super cute. So I'm gonna be wearing it out Hopefully you guys can see all the way back here. She's so stunning I'm obsessed with my hair and how I've been like pairing my jewelry the fast past few months I've been keeping it like really elegant and classy but like statement pieces and I am trying to wear more than just like watches now um, and I feel like sometimes a watch can be too chunky for a fit so I really like bracelets and like sometimes no nothing on my wrist at all and just more rings but yeah that's today's fit with a matching black and gold clutch this light is blinding me but i'll see you guys tomorrow sunday and we will get into some things bye guys so happy sunday um it seems like i'm recording at night but i promise i'm not it's literally like 5 p.m but it is so um cloudy outside because it's been raining so it's pretty dark in here so that's why i have my light on um last night not fun last night was not fun my outfit yep super cute always um i'm gonna rewear that outfit for sure and take myself out to like a nice dinner or maybe i'll wear something else because i have more clothes that i need to wear but i really really love that outfit and not a lot of people got to see us the guys that we went out with like they took so long um to go out and then we ended up at boom boom when we were supposed to go to living room if i would have went to living room and that i would have been like okay that suffices but no um right now i'm heading into my friend's housewarming and i am like so tired and i wish i could just stay in bed because i actually started my cycle on was it yesterday yeah and it was just like really really bad with cramping and stuff and i'm having cramps now but like it's her housewarming and i already told her like two weeks ago that i would go so um that's why i am like all ready to go i was originally like when i thought of going to this house warming i was gonna be super cute wear makeup but i'm just have on like a super casual fit um with this black dress some like white slides and then this fun pink and red hat because my hair is snow and we can't wear a headband with this outfit so that's why I wear this. I look like I'm kind of going for like a beach day, but I still feel like it's fun because it's like summer. And then I'm wearing my Brandon Blackwood bag that was actually gifted to be my Coke um, by Coca-Cola. If you have seen like those TikToks or like watched that one vlog, um, you know that Coke gifted me this bag um, in partnership with Essence Fest. And this is really so cute. I actually like love this bag a lot. So that's the vibe we're on. And then like simple silver jewelry um scent of the day we're gonna just do my delina by perfume de marley i love this scent i really really love this scent on me like you know when a scent just like matches your body chemistry and vibe i always 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 get compliments whenever i have this on and i feel like it lasts a really long time like sometimes i feel like i can't smell it but then when i hug people they're like oh you smell so good and um i'm not wearing any makeup but today we're gonna try like one of the nars lip balms that they just sent me <laughs> when i like do outfits for you guys and i'm like telling you everything that's on me and it's like people have sent me stuff like it's actually like I don't know i just feel so like blessed that i don't have to like buy things and i enjoy getting products that i actually like let's do dolce vita um so this is a lip balm but it's red it's part of their darling duos collection i really really like the packaging let's see what it looks like on me i can see a little bit of the color pretty and nice 
I feel like you guys can see that my lips do look a little bit more pink than they were before. I actually really, really like this. So just like something soft. And I got my perfume, my wallet, my ID. And I'm about to text my friend. We're going to Lexis house morning. I am gonna bring you guys. I don't know how she has it set up in there, but she vlogs for YouTube too. Oh my gosh, I cannot forget a tampon. Get it together. I doubt we will be going out, but I'll pack this perfume in case and I'll pack a pair of heels in the car. I don't feel like going out. So you never know what happens when a bunch of girls get together um, and drink and celebrate and it's Sunday like, oh, let's go here. But we might end up just like having a vibe at her house. Oh yeah, my housewoman gift is gonna be wine. <laughs> It's so funny. I mean, I always like buy wine for myself and end up giving it to other people. But um, this is what I'm going to take her today. It's from Trader Joe's. It's a white wine, blue shell Sauvignon Blanc. And I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let me go ahead and get into my car before this thunderstorm comes down. This is crazy. I don't like that one bit. Okay, I'm going to bring my, my tripod and an umbrella. An umbrella she shall bring. <laughs> I literally have two umbrellas in this house and I've never, I kid you, never in the past few years living in Atlanta have I like taken my umbrella out when it's been raining. Like it just never crosses my head. Oh, just bring your umbrella. Like am I slow? But um, yeah. Okay, so we're all ready to go. I can't wait for my skin to get even better. Like I love no makeup me because I feel like I have nice full brows. But like there's nothing beats like clear skin and not having like a bunch of dark marks but it is getting a hundred percent i was gonna say a hundred percent better that would mean my skin is clear it is getting um better since i was talking to you guys in la back in june yeah so my skin has gotten better all right i'll see y'all at the house ring i can tell you my problems meditating my silence but i keep pushing my pen rotating my stylus brokenness feeling like seeing not no breath low dollar Used to be left on red, now all the girls go. Cheers, Alexis. Cheers, Alexis. Hi, Lexis. 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 How do you feel about your new spot? I really like it a lot. It feels more homey, more intimate than my last place. And I just like it's a new feeling, modern, you know, the vibe. Have you always had this dog? Yes, his name is not Ninja, it's Benji. Benji. Hi, Benji. She called him Ninja. I swear, I thought that's what you said. Dang, it looks like my skin is clear. I look like a fisherman. <laughs> no, this is making my skin look clear, and that's not true. That's fake. Much better. I feel fake though because it's making me look better than what I look like. But I don't. I know this mood is like hot. No, guys. My skin has actually been going. Maybe it is. I've been using Kojic acid. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow. Get that shit right back tomorrow. Somehow all the fans go bravo. Smile so much to hide my sorrow. Faith is shaky in Verado. I can't hold a frown too long. I can't stay down too long. I can't stay down too long. Look, running from pain, running from strain, running from things, running from skin. I don't even know if you guys can see me clearly. I look so crazy right now, but I just got home. I took a shower, washed my face. One thing that I've been doing is recently, oh, I still have oil on my skin right there. Well, one thing I've been doing recently is like showering, like after I'm out. I used to just like wash my face when I would get home from somewhere, but I don't remember which of my friends was like, yeah, I can't get in the bed without showering. And like usually I would only do that on the weekends because obviously like I'll like rechange my sheets after the weekend. So it's like not a problem, but like showering after a night out just makes you feel 10 times better. Like especially if you've been drinking as well, like something about it just makes me feel like refreshed over. Cause I know like the next day, even when you do have like have a hangover, 
showering it makes you feel better but yeah so if you don't normally like shower after a night out of like drinking and just like being out for a while i would definitely try it like on the weekends obviously like in the weekday that's easy you're not gonna come home at like 3 a.m be so tired just want to wash your face and go to bed but yeah definitely try that out i'm gonna actually end this weekly vlog here because it's sunday night hello no yeah i'm good i was just trying to tell you about the door but i texted it to you that when you come back you're not going to be able to get in on our side you have to go the other way chirp doesn't work and the key doesn't work so you have to go to the other side but yeah i don't want to stay on camera with this bonnet too long i don't even know if i'm going to include this in here but i just wanted to tell you guys i'm closing out the vlog here because tomorrow is monday i just might as well start fresh i have training again and I didn't get to do the fun thing that I told you guys we were gonna do like the next day after like Wednesday or Thursday. So I'm just gonna do that in the next vlog because I feel like there's enough footage in this vlog. And I think for me to consistently put out weekly vlogs, I just have to film what I can during the week and then you guys get the vlog on Monday, Tuesday and then I start over again instead of like dragging out my filming into the middle of the second week to get like seven days full it's just like whenever i pick up my camera but yeah you guys have been enjoying these anyways let me shut up i'm about to go to sleep wait actually i'm about to eat my jello fries and chicken and then go to sleep and i will see you guys in next week's vlog um make sure you guys comment down below if you like this vlog um <laughs> i don't know if anyone cares but i'll link my bonnet down below it's from amazon it's like silk double-sided silk and i'm going to sleep it's one i have training at 8 a.m um yeah so if you want to keep up with my life definitely follow me on instagram and my tiktok i'm super active on there and on twitter as well um yeah and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching and yeah bye guys good night i'm tired tired of the way he treats me tired Tired of the way he feels